Hello and welcome to today's video. This is a video I'm really kind of excited about. So a little while ago, uh, Helen McLean got in touch with me uh, and said that uh, she's in Melbourne and uh, she, uh, you know, is based here and her products are, you know, handmade by her here. Uh, and so she wanted to see if I would like to have a look at some of her stuff. And I'm so glad she reached out. This stuff is amazing. So what I have is I've got some notebooks. I've got this beautiful uh, leather cover. I'm just going to talk about features, parts, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you are in Melbourne and you're in Melbourne in November for the Melbourne Pen Show, Helen is going to have a... Um, is going to be a vendor there. Uh, she's going to be there. So check it out. Check out this stuff. It's beautiful. Um, it's luxurious and uh, lots, lots, lots to love. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with the cover here. So this is the navy version and I have it in the B6. Now B sizes, if you are familiar with my uh, videos, my channel, uh, B sizes are a size I particularly enjoy. B5, the bigger version, uh, fits nicely around everything that is normally A4 size in my bag, like my music scores and all that kind of stuff. It kind of fits within all of that, which I enjoy. Same with B6. So if I've got A5 stuff, this fits nicely in around it all. It's great. And also means that when you get the cover, uh, which is a little bit bigger than the notebook, it's not going outside of that sort of size range. So this takes the B6 notebooks, uh, which I have here as well. So this, as I said, this is the navy version, just to put that navy uh, into, um, you know, sort of perspective. Here is a black, which is the endless recorder notebook in the black. You can see it is a beautiful, rich navy color. And there's a large range of colors uh, that she uses for the leather products, um, and they're beautiful, and the leather is beautiful. Let's open this up. So it's got a nice elastic uh, band on the, you know, that comes around the, the front. Lovely, simple embossing, Helen McLean Leather Goods and Stationery Australia. I really like the logo, like it's so simple. It's circle with H&M overlapping in it, and it's beautiful. Um, we open it up, and it is one of these modular notebook cover sort of systems with uh, you know the elastic bands, you know, through you know loops to sort of that you then put through the middle of notebooks. Brilliant, great, does the job perfectly. It's got this little flap on the both inside covers. Um, which also on the back protects the, the, like is another layer between the knot of the elastic so that when you're writing on it, it's not quite such a, you know, a sharp or bumpy surface. These are the card uh, cover notebooks and I got them in the lines. They have numbered pages. Um, I'll just give a little bit of information. This is the back of the uh, linen uh, notebooks um, here. Uh, it says here, leather goods and stationery for desk and travel, set of two notebooks. And so this is the card version, this is the linen version. And it says 64 pages, 90 GSM paper, ultra smooth white, fountain pen friendly. And then a little bit more information here, it says pH neutral, chlorine free, uh, it's responsible practices, all that kind of stuff. Like it's just well thought out. Helen makes videos on YouTube here as well, um, and she actually has a few where she shows how these all are sort of made, which is really interesting. So I'll drop a link to her channel uh, just below here um, in the description. But they're sewn bound and uh, really nicely sewn bound as well. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and the paper is so smooth. The, the, the particular paper that it is, uh, is kind of like not publicized, uh, but it is... Yeah, nice, white, smooth paper. The lines are nice. They don't quite go to the edge of the page, which I think is a nice aesthetically as well. Uh, but B6 is a good sort of size, just bigger than like those passport and pocket size. Um, so you can got plenty of space to write, which is good. Now I have done ink tests here in the back. Um, oh, here's a little bit more information. So this is B6. Uh, so it's 125 by 176 millimeters. As I said, lined um, and yeah, eco-friendly. It's good. It's, it's, you know, it, 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 it gives you a lot of nice sort of information there. And of course the website gives you a lot more and you can purchase her things through her website. Here is my test page. Uh, I've written with extra fine nibs in Van Diemen's in Cradle Mountain ink, Diamond Oxa Blue in a medium nib, Robert Oster Jag, which is a new ink, um, in Twisby Eco Broad, Lamy Black in a 1.5 millimeter stub, Bay State Blue in a fine nib, then a roller ball, a gel pen, a ballpoint, oh, I've written highlighter and I haven't actually highlighted, so let's highlight that. Nice, no smearing, which I really enjoy. Palomino Blackwing with an erase of it, a Sharpie, and then I've hit Robert Oster Tranquility with a water brush pen, and then a, a swatch there of California Teal from Monteverde. Now, 
on this face, we can see a few things. Firstly, there isn't a whole lot of shading. Um, so it's absorbent paper. You also see that here by how Robert Osser Tranquility has reacted. Just uh, as an example, I'll go back to that uh, Endless Recorder notebook, which uses regalia paper. And uh, if you look at where I use the Robert Oster Tranquility with the water brush pen there, you see it's moved around quite a lot. Uh, the ink sits on the surface of the paper a bit more. Uh, whereas here, it's uh, spread it a little bit, but it hasn't actually moved. You can actually see where the water was. Um, and there's no sheen on the Monteverde ink, which uh, is one of the reasons I use this ink, just to see exactly what we're going to get. This paper is promoted as being fountain pen friendly, and you can see here, things like the Sharpie, of course, are going to come through, and there are spots from a lot of the other inks. What I find is that it's generally the first word, or like Bay State Blues come through, but that's an aggressive ink. That will come through on other fountain pen friendly paper as well. It's normally the first word, of each that has come through where the pen is the, the nib is more saturated with ink so once the you know you get that initial lot out it's actually not too bad there's show through but in terms of bleeding it's not too bad but it is beautiful smooth paper uh, and it's a joy to write on but the way these books are made and the way they're sewn is very very nice I'll show you these leather the linen ones so it's a nice simple like it's the same notebook and then it's sort of got this like linen uh, cover on it uh, and they're all handmade um, and I think it's they're nice they're, they're, like the durability of this would be great uh, you could use these in or with the cover or without um, and I think the size is great and she does uh, a I think she does a five and I'll link to her website um, down below as I said so the in terms of the notebooks they're good. There are other brands that do B6 as well. I'm thinking like of, like one that I use a lot uh, is Apica, um, or Apica. They do a nice notebook size. And also Muji does some uh, great B6 as well, if that's uh, something that you're interested in. Now, as for the cover itself, features I love are how well it is sewn. Like the sewing lines are straight, they're consistent, uh, it's well done, all the edges are beautifully finished um I, features i love are the fact that like where the um the elastics go in is this extra little uh piece of leather that they go through uh which both gives support and also means that like the back of the notebook is completely sort of free from all that extra elastic um but what that also does is it kind of gives a spine to the notebook uh, which gives it some stability um, like these corners with the double leather you know from the a uh, little flap on the front there are quite strong. So this now gives that top corner there and the bottom corner, of course, just that extra stability. So this could hold up to four notebooks very, very easily. I've only put two in here to start with. Um, I'm going to be using uh, this for a while. Like leather looks like this is still relatively new. There's a couple of little marks and things. I'll put some photos of how it sort of came. The packaging of this was beautiful. Um, I'll show some pictures of a few things throughout this video, no doubt. Um, there's lots to love. You are going to pay, a, you know, uh, you know, you are paying for what you get though. So you're getting good quality leather, handmade, all that kind of stuff, uh, and made here in Australia. It's boutique. It kind of, as I said, you can get something that's a unique size. There aren't many brands that do these kinds of covers in a B6. Uh, so when I saw this, this is the one that I really wanted, you know, for that purpose. Um, and so, yeah, I think this is a, a very well made, the notebook cover is just sublime. The, the color, the finishing, the, you know, the, even the smell of it, oh, it's just all beautiful. Um, and it's a great color, like the, na I love navy, and this navy is so rich and dark. It almost looks black in some light, but uh, it is definitely, you know, navy blue, and it's beautiful. Uh, but leather will sort of, uh, you know, show its life. It'll show your life, in fact. So if you use this, you are going to get little scuff marks. You are going to get little, like, um, stains or bangs up on it. And that's kind of the beauty of leather. Look after it. It'll look after you. So you are investing in something that's going to last quite a while. So if you do bullet journaling and you use these kinds of notebooks or you, uh, you know, just wanting something slightly different, unique, check out Helen McLean's, uh, you know, leather goods and stationery. They are beautiful if you're in Melbourne for the Melbourne Pen Show, go and check it out. Uh, thank you so much to Helen for sending uh, this out. Um, it's, yeah, always great to, to work with uh, sort of um, Melbourne-based 
uh, people and uh, to see what's going on around us. And um, these are great. So check them out at the Melbourne Pen Show or go online and check them out. Uh, I think they're well worth it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for um, you know your support. And if you would like to support the channel yourself, please get in touch, like and subscribe, all those kinds of things. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.